Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, let's talk about atomic theories and atomic structure. But before we begin, let's have a look at periodic table of elements. If you look carefully, you can see it has elements organized in the form of a table. That's why we call it periodic table. It also has vertical columns which we call as groups and the horizontal lines which we call as periods. But let's talk about that more in detail later because now we are going to talk about the history of periodic table. And as you know, the periodic table has a very, very long history. Many scientists worked on that and with their efforts, what we have is today's modern periodic table. So who were these scientists who put hard work? First of all, the first scientist was Dobernier, who gave a serious thought about putting elements together. He came up with law of triads. Tri means three. So what he did was he put three elements together in a cluster, in a group. The first group was lithium, sodium, potassium. And the second group which he made was calcium, strontium and barium. And they definitely have similar properties. If you look at today's modern periodic table, you will still find those elements together. So definitely, de Bernier had a great vision. The new scientist, Newland, came forward and he proposed law of octaves. Octaves has a word octa. Octa stands for eight. So when he arranged the elements, every eighth element was showing similar properties. Again, it was a great idea but did not work for all the elements. Who came forward after that? It was Dimitri Mendeleev and he was the one who created the first ever periodic table. What he did was he took all the elements and arranged them in the increasing order of their atomic mass. Sure enough, it worked well for some time and remember, he actually gave a vision, an idea for the current modern periodic table. So Henry Mosley, he decided to put Mendeley's periodic table on the right track. He took the elements and organized, arranged them in the order of increasing atomic number. And that's what we got in today's periodic table. There was one more change. Seberg made that change. There are some elements which are called as lanthanides and actinides. And Seberg decided to put those at the bottom of the periodic table. He was also smart to name one of the element with his name, Seborgium. So here is how our modern periodic table looks like as of now with the two rows for lanthanides and actinides at the bottom of the periodic table. And here is the way they looked before Sieber proposed to put those at the bottom. Okay, just to summarize, we have groups which are the vertical columns in periodic table. And there are periods which are the horizontal rows in periodic table. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.